afternoon amazing viewers while well, you're watching us live on fine tv gambia your only viewpoint just to remind you it's another beautiful friday with poetry cabinet that comes your way every friday i am your host khadija tujara with us today is somebody with very energetic somebody who is very amazing mm -hmm. but before introducing him let me allow my co-host introduce herself first thank you very much dj well wonderful viewers you're watching us live on fine tv gambia you've only viewpoint this is poetry cabinet that comes your way every friday and i'm your co-host our camera that's an amazing introduction hi pilot hello you're welcome <laughs> to fine tv gambia thank you so much i'm well pleased to be here you're welcome thank you so much sorry for the delay and we're not live today due to the poor network i hope you come with us cope yes. with us for next time rather. Yeah. okay so let's start a proper discussion i know mm -hmm. people might be waiting out there to know <coughs> who is pilot you understand yes. so the question i want to ask is who is the poetic pilot oh, greetings once again and the poetic pilot i'm a poet i'm a writer i'm an actor um i got 20 years old now um i just graduated recently that was 2023 and now i'm studying international relation diplomacy and international relation at mdi yeah i am living in sukuta yes i'm just a sleepless part you're just a oh, sleepless no sleep. part <laughs> that's quite amazing and interesting <laughs> sleepless part you don't allow people to sleep right no one <laughs> Yes. I hope it's going to be a very interesting interview today. So, mm -hmm. so, so Pilot, welcome yes. once again. Yes, it's yes. an honor to have you here. Thank you so much. Um, okay, can you please tell the viewers like your your poetry career, like mm -hmm. the journey, how it all started <laughs> about? Yeah, like yeah. Ah, uh, mashallah, this is a nice question. <clears throat> um, I got inspired through one of the poem which was by genius Janha, which is the world we are living in hello world are you listening well if you are in listening then you must only be hearing no pa amut kuber te kadu yimom dinglen dega see it is with the greatest gravity of sadness regrets that i make this call that was the first poem i ever had and after hearing that that was the time i actually know there's something called poetry not existing in the game island, but in the world at large yeah so that is where i drew my inspiration from so from there i tried all my best i even went to an accident to buy a headphone only to uh, to be playing the poem and know the words and jot them down in order to master them so that i can also be presenting them so that's how i went to and i was presenting on assembly and other places you know so people like did i see a whole lot of love and that people will be encouraging me to continue i can do it the voice is there so to an extent, whenever I recite it, people just think that it's my poem, so exactly. Fun. So, and there was an, another assembly as I presented, the principal was so happy, started giving me $200 and ah, a whole lot of stuff. Yeah. So I said, no, this is this is something that I should go into. Yeah, sure. yeah so then from there, I also had another poem from uh, this thing, which is When I Die by Omar Cham Cham Cham. When I die, let no one feel sorry to cry. For the sorrow of my demise to melt your cries as I wave a goodbye. But don't shout out loud like thunderstorm, let the vibration of your voice not drip the sky. Just pass by, pray for my entrance to Jannah where my religious sweats will dry. My journey to the destination of no return as my soul flies high. In the brutal hands of the angel of death, in his deadly doings no one can deny. So you know. I said this is something that i need to do it i can do it yes so the inspiration came like this and alhamdulillah today it's though it's difficult yeah the career it's not i don't spend money in the year in the come like i think then i was in grade seven the time i got this inspiration that's yeah. quite interesting so can you please tell us like your educational career because you mm -hmm. said that you recited it in an on an assembly and yes. your principal <clears throat> was amazed mm -hmm. so your educational career how where you started mm -hmm. until you are here today? Yeah, I started at Basse, where I did my primary school from one to six, um, in a village called Kurao, Kemo. From there, I went to my seven to nine to Diabuhu. Then from seven to nine, ten, I went to Bluefoot Upper and Senior Secondary School. So there I was where I was on my first day in that school. 
come like i was registered already now the first monday i attended the school was the same day the teacher who i was um come like the registry how it went mm -hmm. so that teacher i got communication with him i told him that i want to present a poem on the assembly ground wow. so he introduced me to the assembly then that was the time i started with that in that point. so my educational career alhamdulillah i was so good in class yes um though i'm not serious when it comes to reading and all the stuff but i'm a smart type yeah because by grade nine i got aggregate 22 um and that one also was just because of mathematics i got it eight yeah it's a uh, maths is a it's just an enemy to me so it was only the subject that normally affected me well and when it come to my senior secondary school i was so good yes i was so good because my gba is like i have everything credits is yeah and my grade 12 i was not lucky i did well though yeah but you know this markdown and other stuff so i was unfortunate to come out with five credits yeah i thank god and alhamdulillah to that five credit today i am at mdi studying diplomacy and international relations sure that is quite interesting because that story alone tells us that pilot is somebody you know very hard working and striving to make it with so i guess my host has something <laughs> yeah thanks so much you know what always worries me mm -hmm. poetic pilot <laughs> ah, when I had the name Poetic Pilot, I was thinking it might be he's working at the airport. Yeah. <laughs> so let me hold him tight in case he's flying. Let him take me along because yeah. I don't want him to to leave me at the back. So Pilot, can you please brief of brief brief us rather how the name come about? Pilot, yeah, Poetic, the Poetic Pilot. Pilot. Thank you so much. Yeah, this is something that so many people will be like, you are pilot, you are pilot. You have never seen even an aeroplane. You have not been anywhere. So you see. Yeah, but you know, and come like it has a literal meaning. Uh, where people are taking it and how it is, it's they are quite different. different. Yeah, so the poetic pilot, <laughs> the name is like pilot. We, we all know that an aeroplane, um, when we have an aeroplane here, mm -hmm. it will be so hard for an aeroplane to move without a pilot, right? Yeah. Yes. Okay, now in other contexts, mm -hmm. when the ports are here now, they say this is these are ports, mm -hmm. these are gun ports oh. or the world ports, uh, and they want to take poetry to wheresoever they wish to. They, there is no way for them to take that poetry to there without their pilot. Let them oh, all come. Oh, now, that poetry yeah. is the aeroplane. Now, where would they go? Nowhere. Okay. The pilot is the only one who can drive them through the waves of the wind. Oh, my so, God. this is the... Oh, <laughs> the only oh, one. <laughs> it's interesting. Yeah. Uh, that means nobody can leave the place. <laughs> Nobody can lead the industry, or the industry won't move forward no. without poetic pilot. pilot. Yeah, he said. Ah, <laughs> that, that's the, that's the, No wonder he said sleepless nights, <laughs> and he's very correct because he got the energy, he got everything. Thank you so much. Yeah. So, pilot, mm -hmm. why do you like poetry? Why do I like poetry? Wow, that's another big question. Why do you like poetry? Yeah, I like poetry. No, I can say I like it not based on reasons. Reasons are there, but when it comes again, when I say I like poetry, it's simply because um, um, you are earning money from it. Okay. Um, but it might come a time there will be something like we will not be earning money. Or this is just a person. Let me just say it in that way. It's just a person. Yeah, because when you like, when I like it for something, mm -hmm. tomorrow that reason might not be there. Sure. So now, if that reason is normal, it means now there will be no way for me to like it or I'll have the love okay. or the stuff. Yeah, but poetry is something to I, be honest. I ask this I question like because, you know, most of the people think if you are in the industry, when it comes to poetry, it's all about money. Yes. Know? It's all about money. So but that's why I ask this question. Why do you love poetry? Mm -hmm. You true. understand? So our my co-host i know she is very amazing yeah <laughs> that is amazing and interesting so you talk about gam poetry like we, yes. we, when poets come together when <laughs> there is no pilot we cannot move forward no way. so that will make me to ask you a question that okay. is how do you see gam poetry like gam poetry at large how do we see it is it going really well or not and yeah, yeah. gam poetry alhamdulillah i'm proud of it yes come like it's really growing because Years back, the time I got to know poetry's existence, mm -hmm. that was around grade seven. So it means yeah. then we people don't even know what is poetry. I can say in that way. Yeah. So Alhamdulillah, the reason I said it's growing now. When you come to Penchami, before you see poets to be at Penchami to feed up Penchami like how Genius Janga and others are doing. Mm -hmm. Oh no, me, I never thought of that. But today tickets are 300, 400, VIP, 700, and other stuff. And at the end, when you come to uh, Penchami, it's filled up. Mm -hmm. 
and when you go youtube and other places they are having a whole lot of followers and viewers yeah. so this means that poetry is waning and when it comes to poetry look there are so many opportunities that you can gain through it mm -hmm. so for me mom kai i'm proud of gun poetry industry it's really growing and how we are is when we continue in that way putting energy toward it inshallah it will just be like gun music or even more than that poets will be filling up qcd espad I'm yeah, telling you. Poets must must feel we, we're gonna do that. because yes, even yes, in yes. the primary school we have poets. Poets mm. are all over. Yes, yes, yes. So we have to feel curiosity. It's That's a, a must. Lot of must. Inshallah, Allah is good. So poet pilot, like you said, the industry is moving to another level yes. compared to other ones. Mm -hmm. So it's poets in the Gambia really like really united, as oh, expected mm -hmm. of them. No, and that's I think unity is absent. Unity so, is totally. That is even the reason why poetry come like how or oh, where it should be right now yeah. it is not yes come to it mm -hmm. um instead of working together as a team i'm seeing gun poetry come like unity mom guy that is totally absent that is absent i don't know whether it's due to hypocrisy and other stuff but gun poetry yeah unity is totally absent poets are not working together yes and you know that's crazy i believe you are not the only poet who said that like the poets we have here I they all that said yeah that, 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 and they're all saying that poets are not united and others and up. in anything you're doing we have to have unity there mm -hmm. we you have to cooperate as poets to mm -hmm. take the industry to the other level yes. and the hatred should be out there yes um, sure. when he when he talk about hypocrisy i don't think it's hypocrisy mm -hmm. it's self-interest okay they want to gain That's it for true. themselves and that is impossible mm -hmm. if you want to move forward you have to help somebody who is the same as you yeah and like they always say two heads are better, better than, than one, one. Yes. so you can't just Together stick to them. yourself look this is only for me no you have to you have to you know you have to bring people closer to you mm -hmm. you have to fight it together in mm -hmm. order to achieve what you want That's so... exactly yeah, yeah. So poetic pilot, you know that like it's not easy. Like poetry in the Gambia is not mm -hmm. easy. If you mm -hmm. compare it with other countries, it's far different. different yes. So what are some of the challenges poets mm -hmm. go through or poetic pilot goes through as a poet? <laughs> Thank you so much. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, the challenge is number one. It's um <clears throat> you'll have people who will be discouraging you from like criticisms. Yeah. You know, we said dirty mm -hmm. water does not stop plants from growing. Sure. But you know, some people when you criticize them, you just they, they lose the confidence they are Kill having. Their spirit. Yeah, so yeah. criticism is something that is really disturbing us. And when you come to our support also, mm -hmm. the talent is there already, mm -hmm. the readiness is there, mm -hmm. but now support is something, you know, you're having poems. You, you to expose yourself it, it will be so hard for you, you if you don't have someone who is yeah. okay that recording you know recording video shooting and other stuff and now you are doing this for all to know mm -hmm. or all to see mm -hmm. now if there is no recording there is no video shooting and other stuff so it will be so hard for people to know sure. you know so it's really hard support we, we we really need support the talent is there the readiness is there and we want to be flag wavers of the gambia to go and wave the gambian flag at any part of the world yeah so the support it does not not only through money mm -hmm. but as well when it comes to the followers also and the government people themselves mm -hmm. yes when you are seeing this point you can support this point through following mm -hmm. sharing all the sharing is caring yeah you might say one video of mine because i have seen it mm -hmm. there was um someone who posted one of my video on status and i got a call from someone and that person told me that i just saw a video on someone's status and i requested your dial so you see that's a big opportunity sure. and if that person come like is someone who is rich or ready to support young people with talent mm -hmm. where will i be the person who will be Next ready to level, move yeah okay so we should also try that let them be supporting the port and it's so hard with the upcomings you know to get to the level is so hard so that support we need it not only through finance you can support someone not just money yes put the energy you the time and other stuff you create for the person you can be all those stuff so sharing is very important sharing is key. sharing it's very important i guess we will keep repeating this, uh, repeating this over and over again you need to support gun points as an as an individual or as a company or as an industry in order to take that i mean the industry to another level like other talents as well yeah. poetry can also reach above the level of music mm -hmm. it's just the support that you need to show to port so Deja, yeah, that was quite amazing, and he he said something very interesting. So poetic pilot, if I may ask, how many poems have you compiled together, or how many poems have you recorded so far? 
Yeah, um, thank you so much. The poems that I have compiled together, those are 25. That was. Oh! <laughs> hey, so that is big. It's Obviously! <laughs> Wait. No, come on, come on. No, yeah. You mean that is big? Others are yeah. like, others get three poems and they will have to be recognized. <laughs> While piloting, poetic here, got 25 <laughs> poems and not recognized. Right? Yeah. That's the injustice we're talking about. Mm -hmm. Exactly. This is the injustice we're talking about. You've been at a high rank having three poems and you want you to be recognized mm -hmm. while poetic pilot is having 25. He deserved that, right? yes. deserve that recognition. So. Yeah, so to talk about that, before I made a target, you know, okay. target is very important. You plan something and you said, I want to work towards it. Okay. So yeah, the time I got the knowledge how to write poems, okay. so I was like, I will target 25. And these 25, I also categorize them. Okay. Like here, I will be like, I will have five poems which will be about love. Five poems which will be about government. Yeah. Another five poems will be about, come like, how to grow myself, talk about myself, mm -hmm. come like my greatness and other stuff in poetry. Mm -hmm. And talk about, um, I have another place which is about poverty and other stuff. Oh, so okay. I try to categorize them. So in that I was, I'll see, I said, I will try all my best to have right. 25 poems, poems together. together. And when I have those 25 poems, now let me just be recording, recording towards it, being towards recording and other stuff. Yeah, alhamdulillah. So for them, I have them, but the oh. editing is lacking right now. Do you know that all people have this mindset? Mm -hmm. No. People like all oh, this, like me, we'll be just writing, writing. Mm -hmm. You have the concept, let me write 25 squares. of it nice. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> so, we're in the Ramadan, right? <laughs> I understand. But I also like to hear the love piece. Love piece. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, thank you so much. <laughs> so you mean I should recite? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> like, when you talk about love, mm. love in different ways. We have love in a different ways, right? So I would like to hear one. Might be I'll be motivated to mm. <laughs> Yeah. Okay. <laughs> thank you so much. And this love piece, um the time Valentine was coming, that was hey, the time I was done with this love know. piece. All yes. Right. Yes, I have more than that. When it, when it comes to love pieces. Okay. Yeah, but for this one, mm. I just entitled it as Summer Valentine. Summer Valentine. Yes. yes. And now everyone today will be, we are in Ramadan, I'm sorry. So let's imagine now, right now we are in, uh, on oh, the 14th of February, yeah. which is the right. Valentine. Okay. Today, as a Valentine day, my defense is tortured to confess that I would have been lifeless and useless if I had failed to impress and request the address of an angelic empress, Mibamaka Express, as her finest little princess. Summer Valentine. I have dated millions, but I have never seen your kind. Mota, I have digested billions of bullets to make you mine. So, yes. Luta, would I mind to be outlined on your fine spine, up to pipeline, summer valentine. Go tonight for us to wine and dine, a tropic is the only topic till the sun sign. Go survives, I'm a peace of mind. Nacho poti. Go kola mandoje minaka no se njusu kongkoki foka kapoti. Italian to see a chocolate. What would you do? Dow da fon se locating a chocolate for a dundi com pocoli. DJ. Now, go long follow me. Ya wait, you can akatan yoko ngaji baloleje. We are Timbu confirm mutano for Namino Katama. Nyada Kataran Kabara yellow, Casele Selen Kulu, Kababa, Nio, Kaka, Kampa, Kasasa, Ponsis of Katoto. Wow, 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 wow. <laughs> so this is another point. <laughs> so, so much <laughs> <laughs> I am going to master all these lines mm -hmm. so that after the Ramadan, <laughs> single people association, we can start using this poem. Mm -hmm. So much chapati. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I hope you see it. Okay, that's quite it's it's amazing. It's lovely. It's motivating. Mm -hmm. If you are single, you might be dying. Mm -hmm. Sorry, because you know you will feel into an extent. You don't. How are you feeling? Understand. You don't need to feel as long as you are single. Yes. Sir. So the poem is interesting. I love Thank it, so and I know so viewers so. out there love it. Yeah. Just to remind you again, you're watching us live on Fine TV Gambia and the Poetry Cabinet. 
Wow. So a poetic violin, you recite in that piece of I know many people are amazed right there. So, and we are hoping to see into another level. So I hoping to see poetic violin into a next level, like bigger than the gun. Yes, so. yes, yes. You know, that's my biggest dream ever. Okay. Yes, because, you know, that's why I said it's very important to categorize your poems. Mm -hmm. When it comes to that, I have... I, I can do comp uh, create poems which will be about whenever I recite those poems, like pump, it will just like you fool me or you just start bidding me to work hard and the level I want to see. Come like um, there is a verse where I normally say, Nkono Barako Darajo Nafulo will a Dabaro Purkan city until I born to lock up the city. So like mom will a hajoliti. Your grudges is not a fiti. And after the day we are certified at Oxford University, I'm too litty. I'm going to tell the city in simply city to one day find the kill city and go for tours from Man City to New York City. Wow. Crazy. <laughs> that is interesting. So, two reasons I believe that yes, I will be at another level slowly yeah, but surely. Sure. Sure. So, for that being the case, do you think like, do you see Gam Poetry into another level like next year's to come? Yes, yeah. inshallah, it will slowly go. Okay. Yes, right now, Monkai, how we are working, let's just keep focusing on it like this. Yeah, where there is a will, yeah. believe that there is a the way for that. Sure. So the will is already there, the readiness is there. We are ready, whether support or no support, mm -hmm. we are going. And inshallah, God will get us to together. You will yes, reach there for sure. There. So, Poetry Pilot, what advice do you have for young uprising poets? As you said, like the Gambia or any other people will be criticizing you and they will kill your spirit. Mm -hmm. And we have young poets there, you know, they will recite and people like this one cake, they cannot do yes, anything. Yes, yes. So, what advice do you have for them to keep up the work they're doing? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, regarding to that, we just need to keep our head high. So, believe in this, have this saying, a dirty water does not stop plants from growing. So no matter how you have been criticized, just see it as something, you know, grudges. Let them never put Stop you. Me. Okay, you, you just focus on your working. Yes, every upcoming poet. Sometimes they'll be like, um, when they are texting on big poets, they will not be replying to them. No, don't mind that. Yeah. Yes, you momkai, just show the love you have in you and let you just be real. Be you. Upcoming poets, let's be us. Come like today me, I'm here. I said I want to be a poet. And you know, I was inspired by Genius Janga. Now, when I recite as Genius Janga, everything Genius Janga, do you think did every credit is going to Genius Janga? Sure. Every credit. So you you just need to be real. You are you, he is he. So recite, just be you. Yes. Don't just say he's like this, I'm also doing this way. No, you need to be different when you want to make a difference. Sure. So when you want to see yourself where they are, mm -hmm. do as them, follow them, see them as your role model, mm -hmm. follow their footsteps, everything. But be real, be you. And also try to be confident always. You need to be confident. Confident is very important. Mm -hmm. So when you are confident, all those criticisms, they will never stop you from growing. You will grow. Mm -hmm. So you need to be confident. And, you know, important to just have a passion towards it. Just, just say, I'm doing it for just because of this, because of that. No. <sighs> when so, I'm talking about poetry, Gamp, upcoming poets, let's try to work together, mm -hmm. love each other. We be, we be confident, right? Yeah, we will so, be as so. Poetic Pilot said, mm -hmm. just be confident, be real, and be you, and ready to face criticism. Because it is said that in life, if you don't want to be criticized, be nothing, do nothing, okay. and of course, say nothing. Exactly. So, Deja, yeah. you know, whenever our quotes, oh, she motivates me a lot. <laughs> She's amazing. <laughs> the youngest no. author in the Gambia. Marshall. And we are proud of her. Yes, 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 Likewise, yes. the way our pilot is having <laughs> the energy, you know. I wish I have the same energy. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Pilot, um, going through your social media platforms, mm -hmm. I've came across with this poem for Scorpion Jesus. Wow. Here in this time. And which was very motivating. Mm -hmm. So, if I may ask, what motivates you, you know, to, to write, write that, that poem? Like, Jizul was someone. Um, <laughs> that's another big topic. Yeah. Yeah, what motivated me? I'm like, I think it's the love I have for Jizul. Okay. Because I love Jizul, huh? Ah. <laughs> Let me express everything today. Yes, I was following him ever since. So, I just love him. If you know me, Mom Kai. Is genius. When you come to my area, when you, uh, my name, sometimes you will not even know. When you just say Scobie or Genio Jesus, like, come, they'll just direct you to my house. house. Yes, yeah, so next and last time I was even walking with my father. 
you know, he was in Spain, so the time he came for a distant holiday. Okay. So we are working and there was someone who called me Gino Jizul, something, you know, Jizul Jizul. The time we reached home, like he said, he must beat me. <laughs> <laughs> because people are calling me Jizul 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 Jizul. Mm -hmm. So I love the boy, to be honest. Yeah, I back to recall February 26, mm -hmm. um, his Scorpion Festival. I went to Estad for the show. So the time we were there, I told my boy today, me seeing Jizul like this, if I don't go on stage, let me die. Okay. In that whole life, like, I took oh, an oath. Okay. Yes. So now Jizul was performing, he was performing. The time I know that the crowd come like the stage is empty. Mm -hmm. He was the only one on stage. The bouncers, I know now the PIUs, they are there's a space for me to climb and go. So I told one of my boy, you need to lift me up. Let me climb. So he helped me. Bam, I just jumped. Tim, bam. The time I want to be on top of the stage, one of his bouncer, Alex, that one just came and hold me like this. He hold me, I also hold this. Wow. I said, no way. He said, yeah, he must take me down. I said, we are all going down. Going down. There is no way. I must get to this. So there was a scorpion king that I saw him. I told him that you see this king. I bought this $300 only because of Jizu. So now he told me, okay, take it easy. Then they took off the chain and took me to Jizu. So the time I read to Jizu, you know, most, most of the time they will love to give you the mic to sing one of their songs. But then I was going to school and I know that um, to be honest, it's media also. So I was like, no, I, I, I told him. I love you. I just love you. The time he hugged me, the, he allies my witness. I started crying, crying. Oh. I could not believe. So he was even calling me down. So from there again, mm -hmm. the love was always increasing. My state was deep. There's nothing other than Jizul. Anywhere you go, Jizul, 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 Jizul. My books. So I said this. No. Because I know him well, well. So I said, I must write a poem for Jizul. Yeah. So that was the time I got inspiration. So I started getting the poem. I wrote the poem for him. And alhamdulillah, the time I'm done with the poem, I met him at Hussein Dada's show. I told him that I wrote a poem for you. So he come like, I'm um, one of his boy, who, the, the Baba, Swiss Baba. So he asked that one to collect my number so that we can link up. Yeah, so we were like that. Then the time the show was coming, I linked up with Prince Omzo. We went out and make a, the video of it. So that video, alhamdulillah, it went viral till Jesus commented on TikTok and also started reposing other on um, Instagram videos. and Facebook and other stuff. So now to with this then also his work so mm -hmm. we met there then that was the time he told me that he worked on it and inshallah he was so happy about it. And um, February 10 before he will be on the stage I will be the one who will perform Don't the perform perform. That. So I was there the show come like tomorrow is the show. Uh -huh. Today me I was at hey, CCD with my back everything. <laughs> 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 so I was there, my lunch, bath, yeah, everything was. Yeah. Yes. Wow. I think it's 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 liking so well naturally. Yeah, it's just yeah. love. I it's, did it's it just love. Nothing. And then what he did, yeah, and what he did is support because mm. hadn't been it was someone else yes. might be just hearing the poem like that. They will just mm. you know after one one reaction they are done with it. Yeah. I know viewers will love to hear about this poem. Wow. The costume. Okay, here it goes. <clears throat> Hello, top boy, the lyrical kiddo. Baba Scopi Jizul Jere Jallo. Mama Gambia's lovely Jallo. Who metamorphosed into a visionary hero. Hero Minka Nurako Lolo, Akamala Potilo, than his fellows. Like Scopi, you know. Your melodious golden voice over your powerful lyrics flows and bits of Ama Piano. Stings the hearts of every champion. Your odds of mastering music is outside the terminal. Your national and international tours are always exceptional. This indisputable living legend is undoubtedly our phenomenon. His bravery has no boundary. He is the baddest within and beyond his category. Cause he is quite rhapsodic of the way he controls his territory. In the true story of music industry in Gambian history, Jizula legendary is a glory of memory. That would never be carried by a lorry of sorry. I know his name. Mota I'm not tame. To say the fame of his crown claimed Nyonta Yakali in the game. Seeing the throne, the most determined money. I am the next big teen who won't be second to none. As a bone drone beat a fighter like Amarendra Mahendra Bahobali. He conquered and locked up Penchami. We gallop across fountains and mountains to sustain the world and his wife. That the certain and the uncertain micro and the macro organisms existing in planet Pluto, the farthest and the coldest planet, have testified before a safal at TRC that Jizul overpowered the quality, the ability, and the capability to be finally thrown up as number one in town 
Mufesal Estad, Mujal multiple awards, including the best song and artist of the year at Wasahalat, mm -hmm. at where we two sat at him like Lil Brown, till every found faces we are doomed in brown to mount the drown of their poles and jones. Scopi Firinta. Levulo Falinta. Hani Tonya mini mininta firin firinta fat brimintinta. Key to the city jam for Clinta. Hey, in Scopy Vol 1 and 2, he has drawn gun music to the wall like the heart of no thunder, but a blown trumpet for the last hour and consistently boozed on a carpet of slippery flowers, like a flown rocket in the socket of sound air to safeguard his crown. No to competition. To be the best of his own, the world has shown me versus me album in his zone, which runs more than bullets of rain from the Gambia to Zambia, Nigeria to Algeria, Tanzania, India, Katafo, California, and produced one million plays and two million streams on audio mock within one DJ. Jizul is undoubtedly the master of monsters who suffocated your superstars in tens of hundreds of thousands, like the flies that were suffocated by the dead display of a pesticide. But in accordance with social standard, he's a humble celebrity with friendliness and sincerity. And he asks pious to inspire the upcomings to go higher before their dreams will expire. Uh, <laughs> Baba <Scooby. laughs> I just hope, I just hope this, this interview with Baba Scobie. Uh, I know he's Sorry. going to love it. Yeah. Baba Scobie, thanks so much. You know, it's an amazing piece. I know you've taken a lot of time to write yes, it. Yes, yes. Bye. You love him, right? Yeah. I love you too. Yeah. <laughs> it's an amazing piece, being yeah. honest. It's really motivating. And him sharing your links, I think I've seen that. Yes, yes, it is. It's a plus as well. Mm -hmm. You performing up there is a plus. Yeah, there's as a big well. stage. So wow. keep it up. Mm -hmm. Keep keep writing, keep penning down. I know my co hosts have some. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I guess that was quite interesting and amazing. But viewers, just to remind you that you're watching us live on Fine TV Gambia, your only viewpoint. So, Poetic Pilot, if, if I may ask, mm -hmm. like, do you have a manager? Wow. Never. I never had a manager. Wow. Yeah. Come on. Then I was on one team, which is New Voices of Sokota. Mm -hmm. Yes, I was there. And how I came into that was I went to a competition. My school, Brufut Opan Senior Secondary School. Mm -hmm. So, the girl that I went competition with, that was my first stage when it comes to poetry okay. competition. That was my first stage. So I emerged as the first runner up, and the girl was the one who won it. So she was impressed by my performance. Then she told me that I have a, I'm, me, I am already in a team. So that's how I am well trained. I'm well equipped. So that's why today I'm here and win over you, something like that. So then he told me that we will go to that group. So in, she took me there and introduced me to that group. She was the one who even in the, introduced me to Omar Champion Champ also. Yeah, before Gambian poets, I never have any contact with them. Oh. I have been searching for their dialects, much as with a genius, yeah, but never. So that's how it came to. And that manager, we were in that team, working everything together, but we are no more in that team because we don't even know how it collapsed. We even work on one poem, which is we went to the studio, recorded everything, mm -hmm. but at the end, we have not seen the record, nothing. So I think that's how new voices of Suguta today I'm not hearing anything from the team. But manager come like my personal manager. No, I never have a manager. Okay. Yeah, it's just like I have mentors that I look up to and you know when I'm doing anything, I seek advice from them. Mm. Yes. That's interesting. Yeah. I hope one day you're going to have a manager. Mm. Or in fact, maybe you can manage yourself. Yeah. But then I pray you have a yes, manager. Yes, like, I'm looking, I'm, I'm, I'm desperately looking for that. Inshallah, you yeah. surely have a manager because yes. you've got the energy, bro. Yes. Yeah. And, because, and I believe in this also. When you are walking alone, mm -hmm. yes, you can go far. You might go fast, but you might not go stay long or far. You might not go far. Mm -hmm. But you know, when you are working as a team, you have someone who is just directing you, go in this way, go in this way. That's, a, that's a another plus. It's a big blessing. Yeah. Keep it up. Yeah. So we expecting to see pilot in another level. Inshallah. We hope so, yeah. Mm -hmm. Just keep being you, like you said, be real. Mm -hmm. You understand? Yeah. So I would like to hear another point. Another point? Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Then I think that's a I have a lot. <laughs> so I'm not I don't even know which one. So about government or about Ramadan or about what? Everyone is having government. <laughs> okay. Government. Government. Okay. And here it goes. <clears throat> 
Because the smiling coast of Africa is absolutely sinking. Only few are thinking, the rest are blocking. Improper routes are linking, traffickers trafficking, arm robbers attacking, anti crime pitilessly kicking, which is cracking man's brotherhood. Why nonsensically talking, catastrophically politicking, critically not making, justically not working, and mathematically not calculating daily problems? Mkona bankobe dami mfota, siya ta, mo ta, fo ta, fo baliase nkijo farandi mfate o barandi, yelo marandi nyada tarandi. Fo kankunke mfajindi ko jindi balkalero. Ya yalinka na njina ko marsandi sol daman tara sono yari. Kongobe keri ndoku te keri mfondi nkiel ko fwese tari wandia. Kantu njikile teole bentelia, dindi nkiba. Abeko kako leya soto baliya fenta ya fuari ya mkona gambia. Fo komata, wente mba, aisi. See no way to nyato ta unless and until we quit water in the roots of Hasidia. Jahiliya jawiya jutunna ya konnante ya timbali ya nimbuwa ya. Hey, the parliamentarians were taught by teachers. But the teacher less salary found him on fancy. Ila dimbali ya tansi, the speaker of the house coming on per year is more than 15 million dollars. Mkona kiti mu fane buka tonya tamandi. Hanagislo uncle Bob Keta Kezambi. Mane deka B is indeed mysterious to be curious and serious to digest how deleterious our trusted leaders furiously become notorious. But giving me the opportunity as a part. <laughs> you are great. Thank you. Sister. You are great. Yes. The rhymes, everything. I wish one day we are a good poet like. <laughs> <Did you? laughs> Someone who is inspired by you. Uh -huh. No, no. I wish one day we ah, be this good. I was inspired Trust by me, you are amazing. You are amazing, and mm -hmm. keep it up. What do you have for people, upcoming poets like you? Yes, words of wisdom. Words of wisdom. Yeah, so I will advise everyone come like let you have someone who will be walking behind you. Yes, much especially when it's your mom, brother, oh, sister, bro. any other person. Yeah, for me, to be honest, huh, my mom is so supportive to me. Yeah, that thing. So that's why, even you know, um, it was this in the before Ramadan, I recorded a poem. I have never been in studio, mm -hmm. I have hit big st uh, stages. I performed at big stages and again I have a whole lot of certificates mm -hmm. certificates when it comes to poetry but I have never been to studio, studio yeah so. it's just last time I have been there with genius Janga. so genius do tell me that whenever you want to record a poem I am ready to sponsor everything I'll take you to studio pay everything for you so by the time I want to record this poem which is about Ramadan yeah. which is the title is the month so then my mom heard of it yeah so my mom told me no tell genius that Maybe next time he can record that one for you. But this one, where even it is fifteen thousand, hundred thousand, anything, wow. I'm ready to afford it. Wow. So so that today, if I sit at here or where I am right now, I can say to be honest, my first poem was recorded by my mom. So the bill was paid by my mom. So Alhamdulillah. And the time I was done with the poem, I sent the poem to her because at the end, then I said a special thanks to my mother, genius Janga, and Pilot Kingdom at large. So there, are the time she even saw her picture in that video. Mom started crying, crying, praying for me, so many stuff. Nah, he, he cried, he cried, I could not believe. That day, that day, come like we, um, we just have a 30 second of the video, the lyrics video. The time I posted that one, then I said, um, by 10 o'clock, we'll post the full video. Okay. I could not pause it simply because my mom was crying. literally crying. I like, started praying and all that stuff. So Alhamdulillah, then I need to postpone for another day. Yeah. Thanks so much, mom. <laughs> I wish I can cry, but unfortunately, I'm hungry. <laughs> I can't cry. But saying a very big thanks to mommy. Yeah. You know, this is what we prayed for mm -hmm. having a mom who is very supportive. Mm -hmm. I think when it comes to the talent, we lack in this as well. Mm -hmm. Having mothers like this. Because sometimes you have such talent, people like, no, this is not meant for you. Mm -hmm. I want to I want people to know one thing. Not everybody that is meant to sit in that office. Mm -hmm. People are gifted in different ways. So you have, we have to let our, our people, our kids, mothers, parents have to let their kids express their talents. Mm -hmm. This is very important. Mm -hmm. So having a mother who is very supportive, no, we say in a very big thanks thank to mommy. Thank, thank you, mom. <laughs> thank you, mom. <laughs> okay. So we like to hear the Ramadan piece. Ramadan piece? Mm -hmm. Here it goes. The most sacred month of the year any time of fasting called Ramadan is among the five pillars of Islam. 
in which Laylatul Qadri is involved, the presence of devils are devolved, the absence of hellfire is evolved, the gates of paradise are absolved, forgivenesses are resolved, and to the words of truth, all eyes are revolved. Deep down, the stars internally swims in the well of Zamzam, the moon externally swims in the sea of Hamham, the planets continentally orbits around the sun, and the believers carefully, deeply, and spiritually fills their creator who massively created the creatures of his beautiful creation through his mighty creative knowledge kun fire kun which is undoubtedly wholeheartedly and completely beyond our imaginations sun karum karum mimbo ka noro fa mko ni mamfa ante son na kalimo e jamfa mimbo ko let's avoid the spirit of kamfa kilimba ya to as an umma aling na nyoka no folare soto Barakendoto, Simfa o Simfa is a passage to Konofandoto, from Parendoto. Let's be mindful of the day on which the Arab would voluntarily seek to bring forth her burdens, when inspired by her Lord to tell her news. For hope you might lose, thinking to be in the same source with those to be choosed as the drinkers of hottest pineapple juice. But the month of Ramadan is so special to be an honor sip of gossip and dating relationship. Or to be wise like a mice to aspire to acquire a scholarship of hardship in the worship of Allah's Lordship. Imario Hinandila. True la ilaha illallah. Subhanallah. Alhamdulillah. Allahu Akbar Kabir. Astaghfirullah. La hawla wa la quwata illa billah. Frequently. I'm sorry. <laughs> Strongly frequent the masjids, give out charities, recite or listen to Quran, dresses appropriately, practice self-discipline and self-control. For Jannatul Firdaus will solely be ours. Masha. I mean, I mean, I mean, it's amazing. I know this is might be, this is it's not might be, I'm pretty sure that this is the main reason why mom said. I'm going to record this piece yeah. <laughs> because it's education. Yeah. So we all heard from him, which is quite amazing. I know my co-hosts have something for you guys. Oh, like I'm just amazed. Like everything here, poetic pilot is he's great, and I'm hoping to see you to another next uh, another level, inshallah. So I believe that's all we have for today. And yeah. Yeah. I pray one day. When you call your poetic pilot for an interview, you'll be in another level. Mm -hmm. And we're telling you, this is from Pi TV Gambia. Ah. Whenever you need support from us, do not hesitate to link in. Did you? Um, I feel naked when I just leave without saying it, hey. without sending something to Genius Young. Like, okay. Yeah, Genius Young has something, something else. I swear. Yeah, come like the first time I met him, that was at the Barbie. So I met him there, I introduced myself to him. So I got his dial. So then Luheo album launching was coming. So I texted him online, explained everything to him, how I came into poetry and other stuff. So he was just impressed. It. So that was the day I was at my house. He called me, direct call, and told me, right now we are at Paradise Estate. Last time you were telling me. Yeah, something I like think that. that's the first time um, I met you. Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. so you see, then he said, let me go and join them. Then he already have the team that he's working with, but he tried his best to, to, to put me in. So to accommodate me, the, the time I went there, that was the time I met Chati, and I was there the other day also. You also came yeah. and find me there. So I was like, mashallah, dream come true. Yeah. I had been looking forward to meet DJ <laughs> ever since I had this poem about ST. So I was like, no, this is great. I need to work with DJ. Yeah. So I and, and alhamdulillah, I have seen DJ. Mm -hmm. So that was the time DJ yeah. we were inside yeah. eating together. So if I look at DJ, I'll be like, no, this is not DJ. <laughs> so that was through Genius Jangha. Yeah. And there was them, he introduced me to Luhel stage, and after Luhel stage, yeah. you know, we are on another stage that we are exactly. Hussein that has that international stage. local exactly. album launching. Exactly. So, you know, and some, he will be someone who will be like, whenever you want to record, I'm here for you. So, do you think that, oh, genius mom, guy. that's why I, I, whenever I call him genius, mm -hmm. I feel like it's a big disrespect to his name. That's why I feel like calling him Baba Baba. Now I'm used to that Baba Baba. 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 When he call, I say Baba. <laughs> and and so you see, deserve the title. You see, last time nah, we are not just promoting genius. Can have been honest. You know, we are just being real about him. Yeah. If all points are like genius, can yeah, have. Oh, and let me tell you, he's he's is it was it Lohel where we met? It was Lohel. It's it's Lohel, yes. right? That was not the first time. Mm -hmm. Whenever genius is to do album, he texts me, DJ, this is what I want. Sure. And I give it wholeheartedly mm -hmm. because the man is real. 
So whenever he needs something from me, mm-hmm. I give it to him. That is why whenever juniors call, hardly you see people that say no, no, no. No, 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 never. In the industry, the people I know, never. they always come up to support to the fullest mm-hmm. because he is real. That's so true. juniors keep it up. And he loves to see everyone winning. So that's, that's it. side of him, yeah. mashallah. And so, when every poet is like this, I swear, gun poetry, you know, more forward. than music industry. Yes. No, poetry is something else. That, me, I see poets as prophets. Yeah, so yeah. we let's advocate. just love each other. Yeah. We advocate, we tell the truth. And poetry, you can perform it at every, everywhere. Anyway, at the graveyard I'm itself, when we are at the cemetery. Yeah. You can present a poem there. Mm-hmm. I swear. Hi. So you can be preaching. This this is yeah. among the best poetry interviews we had since yeah. we started the poetry cabinet. Mm-hmm. I mean, yes, it's quite did. amazing. Mm-hmm. So hoping to see more of this. Pilot, all I can say is, Keep it up. Thank you so much. Keep it up. Keep it up. You know, when you said DJ Yama, you, I, we all in this <laughs> together. Yes, mm-hmm. we are in this together. We are all in this together. Mm-hmm. So, all I can say, head up, head up, yes. head up. Know that you can do it. Self-confidence, mm-hmm. passion, patience, and perseverance. Thank you so much. You understand. Mm-hmm. Just be your like she said. Mm-hmm. And just to remind you, this is Fine TV Gambia, your only viewpoint. Mm-hmm. It was an amazing day and honor to receive poetic pilot here and that's our camera the youngest author in the game she's quite amazing and i am your able host dj keep following my platforms i'm now on facebook and tiktok thanks so much for watching thank you for watching